hope now everybody can hear me. I hope that everybody also can see the screen with presentation. Um, I'm very uh, I'm very glad to welcome uh, all participants of our truly international session devoted to the uh, different kinds of uh, bibliographic research. I suppose that this is the most comfortable presentation which I ever made uh, on a conference ever, because I'm sitting on my favorite chair well, in my flat. Uh, uh, I'm going to present results of our research devoted to the uh, development of mixed methods research field. Uh, actually, we already presented uh, uh, some uh, results of this uh, paper earlier last year uh, on the Sunbelt uh, uh, and in uh, uh, conference of European Social Network Analysis Network uh, in Zurich. But uh, here we will present some updates and uh, these results uh, are already as a part of uh, a paper which now is uh, uh, under review and we, will, we hope that we will get feedback from your, your reviewers soon. Uh, okay, a few words uh, about uh, motivation of uh, our, our study. So, uh, as you might know, uh, uh, mixed method methodology no, developed uh, quite. Please, somebody didn't uh, turn off the microphone. Oh, oh thanks. Uh, so, this field developed quite fast for the last 30 years. Uh, and uh, now it's a very important field uh, uh, in areas of social research, in area uh, of health studies, in area of environmental studies. And uh, since this field is uh, really uh, fast growing and since uh, it's uh, very inter interdisciplinary by its nature, it was very interesting for us to look for uh, its development. Uh, basically, uh, we had uh, three main research questions. Uh, first of all, and this is, I, I, I told you that this, is, this was the main question for us, how uh, this field developed uh, from the beginning until today. Of course, we did not interested in uh, uh, some uh, historical events. Uh, here we mean uh, just details of um, you know, uh, main points uh, in the sense of uh, a development, uh, development of ideas. We were interested in uh, pioneers and most important figures uh, uh, in this area. And actually, it was interesting for us to understand what are the main journals uh, which promote uh, field development. Uh, it's uh, not it's, it's, not, it's an interesting question because, as I, as I already said, uh, this field uh, they developed in many different areas, so uh, it's not obvious uh, which uh, area is uh, now leading uh, development of the field in uh, general. Okay, so uh, I will briefly describe the methodology because I suppose that today you will see at least uh, two presentations which will use uh, quite the same approach. Um, uh, of course, we started from the um, uh, data collection. Uh, it was finished uh, almost one year ago in July uh, uh, 2019. Uh, basically, uh, we collected uh, uh, articles uh, uh, and uh, sources uh, by the, uh, on the topics which you can see here uh, on my screen. Uh, and uh, uh, the main source for my data collection uh, was uh, Web of Science. Uh, the data which we collected uh, uh, for each uh, publication, for each data source, uh, has the following structure. You can see uh, different fields with information about author name, about title, about source, American Journal of Sociology for this famous Grunewetter paper about the ranks of weak ties. And uh, almost all publications uh, had this, uh, such uh, rich information about uh, the source. Uh, we called works which uh, had this complete description hits. And of course, we, uh, we get works which were cited only, uh, which means we, uh, they, just, just, they were just cited in hits and, and we didn't have uh, any, any description uh, of uh, uh, these works uh, uh, with the following structure. 
what what we did uh, of course we put some effort uh, we defined uh, the most important works which were cited only and we uh, we, we tried to collect uh, full information for them uh, to make them hits and uh, uh, we uh, finally included uh, 60 more publications uh, in uh, our, our data set. And finally, uh, we had uh, more than uh, 80,000 records in our data set, uh, records of hits and cited only words. Uh, we used uh, was to Pike uh, software, uh, uh, and with the help of it, we uh, constructed uh, several networks, which we used to analyze uh, this, this field uh, development. Uh, first of all, uh, citation network, uh, who cited whom. Uh, uh, but, but not authors, but works. Uh, and we constructed journalship. Uh, networks, networks of works and journals, uh, which uh, we use to analyze the importance of different journals uh, and to analyze uh, uh, activity uh, of uh, different journals in the sense of number of publications which uh, devoted to the, the topic of mixed methods which appeared uh, in each of them. Uh, okay, and uh, Basically, as I said, uh, the whole network of uh, uh, s s s works uh, uh, had uh, around 80,000 uh, nodes and uh, uh, the same, the same uh, actually was for uh, journals. Uh -huh. So I suppose that I, I will uh, move uh, here to the uh, data description. Uh, if you will have any questions uh, to the methodology, uh, we will be happy to answer uh, all of them. And I, I suppose that Dasha uh, could help me with, uh, with them. So uh, here you can see distribution of uh, works uh, per years. This distribution was obtained from the um, uh, network of uh, works. Uh, and uh, you can see that the uh, number of uh, works growing uh, year by year. And uh, this is something which we um, expected uh, to, uh, to see. Uh, and uh, you can see that uh, also uh, in, the, in degree dis distribution has uh, the following structure. So what, what we know from the uh, general uh, or, um, uh, insights of, uh, from bibliographic research, it's uh, uh, typical uh, pictures. Uh, so generally uh, uh, we can say from, uh, from them that the situation, uh, situation in the development of the field of uh, mixed message research looks normal. Uh, going to some qualitative uh, analysis, uh, we defined uh, first works, first the mo first most important works in the field of mixed methods research, uh, and you can see you can see that uh, generally this uh, field started in sixties, uh, seventies, uh, almost fifty years ago uh, already, and. Uh, uh, the pioneers, uh, people who published first papers, were mostly people from psychology and from sociology, from social sciences. But if we will look to the cited only works, uh, we can see that uh, these pioneers, uh, they based the ideas about mixed methods and about mixing methods uh, on the works of uh, such authors of uh, Nicola Machiavelli, uh, uh, Emil Durkheim, Ferdinand Tionis, Karl Marx. Uh, so we can say that uh, basically uh, uh, inspiration uh, for the uh, development of uh, mixed methods uh, research methodology uh, was uh, derived from uh, classic publications of uh, philosophers, uh, philosophers and uh, social scientists. Um, uh, we also we also uh, get the data on the most cited works, um, the most popular popular uh, sources uh, in this field, uh, and you, you you also can see what is also normal. Most of them are books, 
yeah, and so just some of them uh, are sources from journals. And uh, you, you can see here uh, the most important uh, journal in this field, journal uh, for mixed message research. Uh, uh, and so just uh, here you can see only one uh, source which is definitely devoted to the area of uh, health studies, but it's also some general, uh, general paper devoted to the methodology of uh, qualitative content analysis. Uh -huh. And uh, mm, we also uh, highlighted here uh, mixed methods uh, keywords. So you can see that not all uh, sources uh, which we uh, collected uh, really used uh, this uh, uh, mixed methods uh, reference. Some of them are generally devoted to the, uh, as you can, you can see here, uh, some uh, special theory in the field of social sciences. Uh, but in addition, they also cover topics of uh, uh, mixed method research. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, for analysis of, uh, more precise analysis of uh, our networks, we uh, solved boundary problem. Um, so we have a network of more than five uh, uh, hundred thousand to uh, hundred thousand works, and uh, but ba basically individual distribution in these networks uh, shows that the uh, majority of them uh, were cited only once or twice. So uh, to to obtain network for uh, our analysis, uh, we removed uh, all works, uh, all registers which were cited less than three times. Uh, and we worked with a uh, smaller network which had uh, around uh, uh, 1,500,000 uh, vertices. And what we did, uh, uh, we, used, uh, we used methodology of uh, Hmm? Yes, methodology of search pass count, uh, uh, and uh, we constructed uh, main pass, uh, which basically it's kind of a skeleton, uh, basic uh, basic scenario of uh, uh, field development with the main sources sources uh, which were defined by the algorithms of main pass, and we also. Uh, constructed uh, so-called uh, key roads, uh, which is uh, uh, shows uh, some addition uh, uh, areas uh, um, which can help to uh, interpret uh, the general logic of key road. Um, okay, so I will briefly now describe for you this uh, this. Uh, picture with uh, uh, precise um, attention to the key road. So you will have some uh, uh, insight about uh, what does it mean uh, in general. So uh, as, uh, as I told you later, uh, this uh, generally this field started uh, in uh, uh, 70s uh, and 60s from several works uh, by people who um, came from field of psychology and sociology. Uh, and uh, actually before uh, 2005, uh, uh, it was just uh, several, several uh, around uh, eight important uh, papers. Uh, devoted to the basic development uh, of the methodology of uh, mixed methods research. So active period, uh, you can see it here, starts in 2005 uh, uh, in the field of uh, social sciences, uh, sciences uh, because after this period, we uh, get uh, uh, almost uh, 20 publications uh, for this uh, for this key road. And what is very important, uh, in, two, in 2007, here, uh, Journal of Mixed Method Research appeared. And uh, almost all publications till 2010 would be uh, from uh, uh, this, uh, this source. And generally, people who published uh, here uh, in between 2005 and 2010, uh, they uh, started to uh, start a reflection about the, uh, what, what is mixed methods, uh, what is the methodology of mixing methods, uh, how we can teach mixed methods. 
so this this was the period uh, of uh, uh, so-called uh, we can we can call it period of uh, field institutionalization. Yeah. Uh, and uh, um, uh, from 2000, uh, from 2012 till 2015, we can uh, we can see that uh, uh, sources moved uh, to other uh, key journals. Uh, some of them uh, were journals from uh, public uh, health studies, and uh, nowadays uh, uh, the road came back to the. Uh, uh, journal of mixed methods research and what is important uh, in the last year topic about teaching mixed methods uh, appeared again last publication we devoted to the teaching uh, um, mixed methods research okay for uh, i just briefly described this scale uh, and uh, you can see here uh, we will share these presentations and this, 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 you can find here uh, uh, more detailed information about uh, papers which you which could be seen in uh, Keyroad and uh, uh, in, in and main paths. I just will uh, uh, say that more details could be found in uh, analysis of uh, main island, uh, which we also obtained for the work of network uh, of of, of uh, uh, network of works. And what is uh, very important here, we will. Uh, you can you could find this uh, description of this island in in our paper uh, and uh, i have not so much time uh, almost one minute i suppose i just uh, want to say uh, very important uh, share with you very important insight from the analysis of uh, works of uh, journals and um, uh, and works so this is distribution of uh, uh, works per journals. You can see that many of uh, many of journals have just one work devoted to the uh, mixed methods, and uh, not uh, so much of them have several. Uh, you can see that uh, journals, uh, which has uh, some publications on mixed methods, number of them growing uh, per year and uh, average number of papers devoted to the mixed methods uh, is growing uh, nowadays. But what was very important for our analysis and for our such questions, here you can see the table with uh, the main journals uh, uh, in this field with the uh, ne uh, 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 number of works devoted to the mixed methods uh, in this uh, value column. And we just highlighted uh, journals which are were published in the area of uh, health studies you can see uh, that uh, here that despite the fact that uh, analysis that, that analysis of k roads and analysis of uh, field development showed us that it started from the area of uh, social sciences uh, with the references to key classical authors like durkheim or Ferdinand Jones uh, or nicola mccavelli Nowadays, uh, uh, field mostly growing in the area of uh, health studies, and uh, basically we may conclude that that uh, it is the um, area which now pushing it forward. Uh, and here I just uh, will say some conclusions. Uh, um, I already told that yeah. Uh, we were happy to find out that uh, it was classical philosophers and social scientists who uh, motivated uh, this field uh, and helped its uh, first initial ideas to uh, come up. Uh, we can see that uh, uh, really field studies is uh, now pushing uh, this interdisciplinary area uh, forward, uh, and uh, it's uh, it's a very important sign. Uh, maybe for social scientists to uh, put efforts here more actively and uh, which is also interesting that uh, recent publications and publications uh, uh, in the most active period uh, between 2005 and 2010 uh, were focused on teaching of uh, mixed methods and problems of teaching of mixed methods which which is for us is really a sign uh, of uh, field institutionalization uh, which, which means that uh, so uh, it is not at a stage of uh, knowledge uh, uh, collection, but the stage of uh, knowledge sharing already. Okay, uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, attention. Um, if you have any questions, 
please ask. Stas, thank you very much. Yeah, dear colleagues, please, if you have some questions, let's ask them. I think it would be strange if I would have some questions. I mean, <laughs> yeah, please, Valerie okay. Alexandrovich. I have a question. When you eliminate uh, the papers with a, a few number of citations, uh, do you take into account the publication year of the paper? No. No. We just removed all papers which were cited less than um, three times. Three. Yeah. Three times cited, yeah. Yes. If but why, why are you paper? asking this question? Okay, I see. But probably it's important also to note that uh, we do have all the papers which are found by our search query. So all the hits, we, we, uh, they, are, they stay in the data set. Um, when we remove the notes, we remove only those notes from cited only papers. Mm -hmm. The terminal works, but all the hits which are found by by search query mixed methods uh, in Web of Science, so this twenty six thousand of papers, they stay. Mm -hmm. no, yeah, I, I forgot to emphasize it. It's uh, very important. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. I hope you can hear me well. Yeah. And, um, I will continue the series of. Uh, wait a second, please. I will continue the series of bibliometric analysis studies, and uh, I will sh I will tell about the bibliometric analysis of urban research studies. Uh, first of all, I would like to mention that uh, apart from the previous research, this is not the research on the development of the field. It is mostly um, an exploratory analysis of what's going on there because. This field is very fragmented and a lot of research is uh, doing the study in this area. That's why I just wanted to figure out what's going on there. And um, I started with the idea that cities can be uh, perceived as networks and analyzed with network theory and methodology. And uh, I found out that this idea is not like first. People have already been uh, doing this kind of research and uh, they could be separated on three levels of analysis, like macro level, where uh, researchers analyze the connections between cities, uh, like uh, trade networks, airplane networks, and many others. Then there is a meta level, where researchers analyze um, the city itself, how it's organized, how this organization influences uh, the relations between organizations in the cities and people, and the micro level, where the researchers analyze some neighborhoods, some small communities, and how they uh, behave in an urban uh, reality. So I wanted to find uh, how many researchers and how do they think about networks and uh, urban, and uh, how they try to answer the questions like uh, how networks affect cities and how city structure affect the relations of uh, people who live in these cities. And uh, what else should be said is that, like I said, many researchers has, uh, has been making uh, studies in this area, like geographers, sociologists, engineers, physics, and many, many others. And the scale of analysis is also huge because, uh, like I said, there are some levels and these levels can be combined and the size, uh, the number of works that uh, mention urban network has grown dramatically since the 1960s. And this area is very messy. And a group of people start discussing these problems uh, in 2017. They create uh, some community of researchers. They start meeting each year and discussing uh, the problems of urban research area and uh, start to uh, know each other and uh, uh, like know what's going on in the field. And there has been made some attempt to make a bibliometric uh, research on uh, what's going on in urban, uh, urban research area, 
but these works were uh, mostly uh, either um, either very uh, like they were analyzing uh, the literature the literature on the systems of cities, um, not uh, counting on what's going on within the city, or they were mostly uh, just uh, analyzing very few works uh, which were uh, analyzed manually. Uh, this type make uh, like more general with a bibliometric approach that would be showed. So I will talk about the data collection, the network construction, then I will show some results about most cited works, uh, the main paths and key roads analysis, the islands, and uh, um, make some conclusions. So the data was collected from Web of Science uh, by the query Urban Network with a Star. Uh, we tried types of uh, from uh, several types of queries but this one was the most uh, I don't know comprehensive uh, in this kind of query uh, the works that should be in the data set uh, was in the data set uh, that's why we decided to left it like this so the day since 1955 until uh, November 2019 that was the period when we were collecting the data from Web of Science. And uh, the data set collects uh, hits and cited only works. So this is the example of how the data from Web of Science looks. And uh, with, uh, with the help of was to pilot program, we computed uh, the four uh, networks and get some partitions. So the data set was all 1,000 uh, works and the sizes of each network you can see here. And next I will talk just about the site network because I was analyzing citations. So here you can see the most cited works. I was really happy to see here Granovetter and Barbashi, Wasserman, uh, Newman Freeman, the guys from social network research. And also there are guys from sociology uh, like uh, Kevin Lynch, uh, Bourdieu, uh, there are customs and uh, yeah here we can see the uh, and the other guys that are not both they're not just some random researchers they also uh, was doing research in the area of uh, urban studies they are uh, concentrating on uh, on solving optimizational problems of um, traffics and uh, transportation uh, which uh, are not really um, uh, connecting with uh, some theories of uh, social network research. That's why I just didn't really pay much attention to them. Uh, and here, uh, here there is a strong component. Uh, these are the papers that cite each other, but they appeared in the same journal. Uh, that's why there was created a loop and for analysis of citation, we need to get rid of these loops. That's why we uh, just clean the data and get the main pass and key road analysis. So they look almost the same. Uh, in the key roads, we have some alternative uh, in the middle of, uh, of the like uh, development of this area. But what is important is that all the works uh, in the main pass and key roads related to this optimizational research, like uh, traffic, skewer, uh, some perimeter control, road choice. So there is no works from the most cited uh, papers, uh, which I hope to see here. And what else is important, that uh, the field is developing. Uh, you can see that uh, the first works uh, related to the end of uh, the, 20th, the 19th century, the 20th century, but uh, the main part is related to the 21st century. So it means that it's just been shaped now. And then I start analyzing islands. This is a clusters of papers that have a strong citation uh, pattern, pattern, but they do not uh, relate to the main path or key roads. And here is the island also uh, relating to the traffic. Here we can see some uh, surnames from the previous picture uh, because they were doing research on the same uh, kind of topics. Uh, the next island 
was devoted to transportation problems, underground railway, uh, railway networks. Uh, the third island, uh, we called it land use because here researchers try to analyze how the, la the land uh, is transforming, uh, how uh, the city is growing, how it affects all these uh, systems. Um, the, fourth island, uh, the fourth island is devoted to physics because they uh, study radio frequency networks, electromagnetic fields, like wireless sensors, and so on. I have no idea <laughs> about all these things. Um, and there are islands of radio and telecommunication network, uh, the islands of mobile and internet uh, networks, and ecological networks. Here people uh, analyze some air pollution uh, with a special system of air nets and all this. And I was already disappointed because I hope to see the guys from uh, uh, fr from what I've started to learn about this urban research area. And here there were people who are doing uh, research uh, with uh, social aspects and cultural aspects. They were studying the mobility patterns, the globalization problems, the polycentricity, uh, retail consumption networks and many, many others. Uh, so this is the most uh, important for our analysis uh, works, uh, which we should concentrate on. And um, going to conclusions, I should say that bibliometric analysis is a very good uh, for systematic literature review because uh, knowing nothing about the field, you can very quickly uh, know about the main works, about the areas that it has, and uh, to uh, to start reading literature. And what we have in our analysis is that urban research field now is captured by researchers who solve optimization problems, but there are many citation papers related to the theoretical and methodological aspects of urban sociology, for instance, and the social network analysis that's why is connected somehow and to understand this connection more precisely we need to concentrate on the island eight as the last one and analyze it more clearly uh, to find new keywords from this island and to make a new query and repeat all the steps and i hope that uh, the connection between uh, the sma and uh, urban research will be more clear and uh, not so messy like it is now. So yeah, literature mm -hmm. that, that I was uh, based on. And uh, thank you, some questions. Thank you very much, Samara. Dear colleagues, do you have any questions or comments? Maybe, um, Dasha, if I can. Um, sure, sure. Um, you know, in, uh, the, the islands, uh, you know, in the uh, it's important how uh, important is an island. And that is uh, seen uh, on the weight, how uh, the, the, the weight number uh, that appears by the island, so that you know, you know, how important is that island uh, in your data set. That is one point. And the other point is, um, um, clearly, you see uh, in um, whatever you presented, uh, a kind of uh, subcluster of um, specific topic. Uh, it would be nice that you would color the notes uh, um, as to assign notes to that specific cluster so that we would see in the network where is what. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two suggestions, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I have a question too. Yes, yes. Um, uh, mm -hmm. Why you use only Web of Science citation database? Because there are many publications in different journals, and uh, uh, why only one database? Mm, maybe it's a very yeah, it's a very good idea to combine probably several databases. But as far as I know. Uh, Web of Science have uh, the most, uh, uh, the, the biggest time here because it allows to collect data from 
the 1950s. And for instance, uh, Scopus, as far as I know, it allows to collect only from 1990s. That's why a lot of works just uh, disappear <laughs> from analysis. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So also, if maybe I may, it's good, it's good to combine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I may, I would just add that uh, the methodology that we use is uh, really, um, how to say, developed for web of science, but uh, uh, it is basically developed by Vladimir Batagel, who is now with us. Uh, and um, so there is a program also called Boss to Payak, which allow to construct these networks that we use for our analysis. Okay. But we think that it would be really nice just to enlarge this and to, uh, for example, to do it to, to to do these procedures for, for example, e library data that that we can get from our Russian uh, data source. And uh, actually, we are even uh, planning to work on it uh, this Vado, but uh, we haven't done it yet. So, uh, but also there are some. Uh, um, comparisons between different databases uh, and where which disciplines are presented better so we made some comparison and for example for our studies for social sciences we found out that web of science is very reliable da database even though as i told it would be nice to add something from other databases thank you thank you very much thank you tamara for your presentation i have a question about the island all, all islands. So um, the same color clusters are those uh, authors who have the um, uh, same topics, oh, right? Is it right? No, there's uh, for years, uh, some time periods. It's automatic uh, coloring. I don't know how it's uh, actually happening. But uh, here I just uh, try to express uh, the main topics for the whole cluster, like uh, what people are doing here in each cluster. And the last one, yeah, of course, it's the most, um, how to say, full of uh, different topics. That's why it should be analyzed more precisely to try to investigate some patterns there. Uh, have you checked this uh, island with uh, some history of urban sociology or anthropology? Such stuff? Uh, well, I haven't done like a very uh, careful analysis of uh, this island, but I know some uh, surnames. Mm -hmm. uh, and for instance, here is a Ben Deruder and many people cited him and he's uh, the guy who promote the community of urban research now. And uh, look more carefully, I don't know if you see, he appeared in the last uh, period of time here. So he is kind of like on the whole uh, structure of this uh, island. And, but, um, no, I haven't done like a careful analysis of who relate to w w what field yet. Yet. Mm, thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> because I think, uh, yeah, because I think that uh, uh, we will take uh, closer at the keywords that people use uh, mm. in their. Uh, abstracts here. We can find new uh, new ways of to how how to collect more data on this uh, research topic, and the analysis will be more full. So, hello everybody. I hope everybody see my screen right now. Is everything okay? Yes. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to present my topic. It is about uh, it is about professional online community of Russian sociologists, and uh, I will be discussing more in detail about internal structure and thematic agenda. Uh, so um, I'm going to begin with the definition of online community, uh, wh while uh, Barry Wellman described the communities as the network of interpersonal ties uh, that provide sociability, support, information, and of course, uh, social identity. Um, 
As for the white uh, vitro communities, uh, Ringo uh, mm, defined them as a social association that arise from the network. Uh, when sufficient number of people lead discussion, discussions uh, long enough with enough human feeling to form networks of uh, some personal relationships uh, in, their, in this community. Uh, another important uh, definition is the, the concept of community of practice. Um, this practice was proposed by Wenger, McDermott and Snyder. And the community of practice is the group of people who share the same concerns, the same set of the problems. Uh, they are a community who deepen in their knowledge and expertise in some area. And there are several components of the community of practice. Uh, they are area of interest. It is a field of activity, some area of expertise, the community itself, uh, a sense uh, what uh, gives you the community, it is the sense of belonging, uh, the same identity, the common history probably. Um, then uh, the common practice itself, it is some knowledge in action. And um, another new kind of the component, it is the technology, some virtual settlement uh, with could be a special digital habitat for uh, of community of practice. Uh, so about my empirical object, um, I'm going to present the case study. It is the professional and community Manufaktura Sotspok. Uh, it is some one of uh, one specific group in Facebook, and uh, we got the data uh, of. Um, uh, 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 which, which we started in the birth of this community in 2011. Uh, we got the data, data till 2018. Overall, there are more than 34,000 of posts. Uh, we've got uh, 818 active authors. They are people who actually write in some comments and some posts in this community. And uh, almost uh, 105 uh, 1,500 active reactors. Uh, those are people who uh, who share some uh, reactions uh, to some posts in this community, such as likes and love and, and other reactions. Um, about the methodology, um, I'm, I'm going to use the, the social network analysis as the research methodology. Uh, why uh, this exact method? Because uh, uh, with uh, those methods, I can uh, describe the structure of social interactions. Uh, also, I can open up with the dynamics of this uh, structure, how, um, how patterns of social interactions uh, differ uh, from time to time. And the uh, um, thematical blocks, um, uh, could be open up uh, with this method, but in uh, this uh, presentation, I'm going to talk mostly about the uh, thematic blocks, only the last part. Um, and uh, the main object is the actual practice of commenting. Um, so I'm going to uh, talk about the network, which is based on the commenting uh, practice in this professional online community. So regarding the structure of uh, this network of commenting, we've got uh, 818 nodes and the structure is the uh, core peripheral. So here we see the tiny core, the people who are uh, very highly interested with each other uh, in, in their own block. And also they have some interactions with uh, the peripheral part. Uh, the peripheral part is uh, uh, could be divided to two parts, which is like semi-peripheral. There are some, um, some connections with the core and uh, the, the peripheral itself, uh, it is almost uh, no block um, without any uh, connections. So uh, when we uh, 
solve to the, um, uh, the structural question. In our research, we decided to look um, at, the, at the topics, at the thematics and the commenting itself, uh, like why are those peoples are uh, connected in exactly this way. Maybe there are some, uh, there are some explanations why uh, those people are discussing all the time something and why other uh, commenting something or not commenting something. Maybe there is some explanation in the, uh, in the topics itself. Um, so how, how, we've, how we've done it? Um, in order to create thematic blocks, uh, firstly, we watched to, you should watch to this table. This is the uh, original data, how all the data was, uh, uh, um, was in, in, in this, uh, based in this uh, community. So we've got the data, uh, post type, post ID, initial post ID, the text itself, author name, ID, and the number of reactions to each post. So what is important? Important is that we got three different levels of post type. First type of uh, post, it is the initial post ID, some post uh, who, which was written by some author. The second post type is the actual comment to this post. So uh, uh, in this column, we see that uh, initial post is, uh, uh, is this one. And the third uh, post type is the comment to comment not to the first initial post, but to comment. Um, so then, uh, I've, um, in order to understand what are the topics, uh, it was uh, decided to read all the, uh, all the posts, uh, which are, uh, which are, uh, which are only the first post type. Um, it is still time consuming as read everything, but uh, in order to read everything, uh, I should uh, you, it should be take um, more time because there are more than 34,000 posts. Uh, but what I've done, I read only first post type and uh, all, all next um, posts uh, with the two and uh, three post types with the initial post of the first, they got the same topic. For, for instance, if the first uh, post was about publication, I uh, think that probably uh, then comments and comments to comments will be also about publication. Uh, this idea, of course, has, uh, uh, has the limitation, has some limitations because uh, uh, sometimes discussion could lead to completely another topic. Um, but here we've got what we've got. We think that if the first uh, first type post was about some specific topic, then all the comments uh, will be also about this topic. So in the end, we've got uh, 18 thematic blocks and uh, the leading of all these thematic blocks is about analytics. Uh, it is uh, uh, 11,500, almost 600 posts. Uh, devoted to these topics, then uh, scientific publications uh, for 4,500 events, uh, mass media, public opinion, colleagues, uh, search for materials, uh, research idea, uh, some posts about uh, vacancies, uh, video lecture about community format. Uh, that means that uh, the posts about this exact uh, community, some questions or posts about this community specifically. Uh, then the post about methodology, methodology uh, search for technology, uh, the technology itself. The difference between them uh, is that the search for technology are, are mostly the posts uh, with questions like, uh, I need to do something like this. Do you know any technology which could be solve this problem? And the technology itself is the kind of the post with maybe advertising some specific um, 
computer program, uh, something like this. Then uh, holidays, activism, information about publications, students. Okay. Uh, so then what we've done with it, we've done uh, indirect block modeling with the, with the um, uh, use of the structure equivalence. And also we've got the core periphery structure with the two or maybe three main clusters. We see uh, the core cluster and the peripheral cluster, which could be, which could be separated into two, um, two different clusters. Uh, but actually, there are only two of them, core and periphery. Uh, so the first clusters, uh, we've got, uh, in the first cluster, we've got all the topics are presented. There are 73 nodes and 18 topics. So those are the core group, and they discuss in actually everything, all the, all the, uh, all the 18 topics. Uh, then the peripheral cluster, uh, they also got uh, three topics in the second cluster. They, they are people, uh, uh, actually two, uh, 200 people, they discuss an event, holidays and some uh, students problems. And the third cluster is almost 500 people discussing um, technologies, research ideas, video lectures. Uh, then uh, we decided to have a more precisely look to the first cluster and uh, solved it with the direct bulk modeling, uh, but within the structural equivalence. Um, and we've noticed that if, uh, if we want to get two clusters for the topics and uh, two clusters for the authors, uh, we see pretty nice, pretty nice uh, blocks. Um, for instance, we see almost no block uh, with the some number of authors, and uh, uh, and we see the cluster of um, uh, topics which is not interesting for this group, uh, for this type of the group, um, and we see the part of the core who are still discussing everything, but they are more uh, intensively discussing. Uh, first group of topics uh, than the second one. And uh, this part of the authors, they are uh, less, um, less than, the, than the other group discussing the um, most, uh, uh, most popular topics. Uh, so uh, we've got uh, two subclusters in the first cluster. Uh, so as for the most uh, popular topics, they are analytics, methodology, events, mass media, uh, colleagues, public opinion, scientific publication, research idea, community format, some search for the materials, and uh, the second subcluster with the, uh, with the number of topics, which are actually less, um, um, uh, less popular uh in uh, uh, this part of the uh actor actors so this is the end of my presentation thank you for your attention and uh, i will be happy to answer to all the questions thank you very much aruna dear colleagues do you have questions and comments Hello. Yes, have a question. Sure. Um, how can you use this result? You have some description of activity of some professional group. Can mm -hmm. you use for some reason to solve some maybe practical problem of this results? Is it possible? Uh, to use uh, these results about what uh, people are discussing uh, to to some problems in the inside of the community, you mean? Maybe you can say this community is different from uh, usual communities. Uh, what is the main uh, research question that you are looking for? 
the main research question uh, is about the uh, about the structure of the community. What are the specific characteristic of the structure uh, core periphery? And um, uh, here, what we've got, we've got the the uh, the specific topic which are discussing in the core. Um, probably uh, are influenced on the uh, behavior in the periphery and overall in this community. So probably it is used as uh, kind of metadata to, to kind of interpret the results of uh, this structural analysis. Are there something surprising in this um, in the result? What you don't expect, but you you get it. Um, uh, maybe for me, it was uh, very surprising that um, the this part of the analysis uh, that uh, there are some um, some sub subclusters in the core actually who are differ uh, in their um, in their interest in uh, that in some topics what uh, they are discussing that uh, there are some topics uh, which are uh, less popular even in the core in the even in the core group of the community okay thank you yeah maybe to clear this up so uh, in the core group um, so these are the, uh, the these are the authors of the core right and these are uh, and uh, and and these are the topics uh, is this sparse one the first part uh, um, mostly methodology and these kind of things that are less or the other way uh, the difference between the two subclusters in the core group. Yeah. So what are so the, the topics uh, in the first part are what, and in the second part are what? Uh, in the first part uh, are those parts of the topics such as analytics, methodology, research idea, scientific publications, and uh, etc. And the second part of the topics are this part of the. Uh huh. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. So you can say that this the 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 the, the less intense uh, topics uh, are the, the 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 more research oriented uh, uh, topics. Yeah. So this is research methodology and these kind of things. And uh, and the other ones, which are very very often discussed, are more a kind of easy taken things, or let us say, uh, um, uh, like holidays, activism, and, uh, and students, and so on. So these are, um, yeah. So it's 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 um, yeah. So maybe, yeah, maybe you can you can call uh, you can call this first uh, subcluster um, uh, the, 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 the the kind of research methodology um, these kind of things. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I think I think so. That maybe uh, the topics which are uh, including this uh, first subcluster they are kind of the aspects of the professional identity itself. Uh, of yeah. technologists in this community because the the rest of them are not um, uh, are not those uh, part of the part of the uh, components of this uh, research identity I think so okay. so now you got the titles right of these two type of topics I think this is important so that you have now it's uh, uh, and uh, the thing is that 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 these uh, um, uh, topics that are defining the, 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 the sociology, in a way, uh, are actually not too many times uh, posted, right? Mm -hmm. And are not so popular, let us say. So, so that means that you have in, in, in this, uh, uh, that you have in this um, network, or in this uh, platform or whatever, uh, and that you have a lot of 
people that are probably not um, active sociologists, I would say. Uh, yeah, mostly, mostly like uh, in the second and the third cluster, there are people who share some uh, posts about events, holidays, and something which is uh, uh, less um, uh, less connected with the actual profession of sociologists. Uh, and what we've got in the in the first cluster, there is also some uh, difference between uh, between the people. Uh, these are the people who are who are not very like to discuss uh, any um, any not very uh, important for the professional sociologist topics, but still they are not very um, um, not very active in discussing uh, the important topics in comparison with the second group, which is like the heaviest part. We, they are people who are actually like discussing everything, which is the important in the first uh, um, uh, subcluster, and uh, and they have still got some uh, some uh, some discussion with the second subcluster. Yeah. Okay, I think that you have. Um, I think that these results are so clear that you can really a kind of. Uh, label them uh, more precisely, I would say. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Question? Yes, me? yes, sure, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Arina, thank you for your interesting research idea. And I uh, want to ask you, could you share the secret? How did you get the data from Facebook community? Uh, how, um, how did you do it? Mm -hmm. um, within the, we, uh, recently we've got um, uh, this uh, table and uh, with the use of the program text to pilot uh, we've collected uh, within the matrix uh, multiplication we've done the network. So for instance we've got um, the initial post ID and uh, author, author ID, we uh, multiply it with the uh, initial post ID and uh, the, uh, the post itself, uh, with, the, with the post ID, then we multiplied it and, um, and the result we multiplied to the transformative form uh, the same of the same element and uh, in the result, we've got uh, one node matrix of uh, the authors uh, who wrote the, uh, the people in the first mod what was the people who uh, who wrote the post, which are and they are connected with the people who uh, um, who comment their post. I think. It was not the answer to the question, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I did not understand how. How did, how did you get how it did from you get Facebook? initial data from Facebook? Yeah, yeah. You get it by hand, or how do you? So the question is how to get it from Facebook because we know that it's a bit uh, difficult. Um. Oh, oh, okay. The 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 original um, data. Um. Uh, I think that there are some specific um, specific techno technology to uh, to collect uh, the data from the Facebook, and they are open to use them. Uh, so uh, before you just need to understand what are categories, uh, what are the specific categories you need. For instance, like post ID and author ID. Um, Okay, probably I can also okay. add something because uh, originally it was kind of this, this study uh, was um, we started this study some years ago and then Aruna took uh, the whole thing. So the data was collected uh, by some uh, programmers and we especially asked the owners of the community to open it 
And uh, for open groups, it was possible to collect different kinds of data. But I think from 2018, uh, they somehow reduced the rules. Uh, they somehow reduced the uh, number of uh, data that you can get. So that's why, I mean, at that time, it was all the information which was possible to collect. But it was done uh, from, I mean, the owner knows about it. And I think they are waiting for this analysis <laughs> for quite some time. But this is an important question, of course. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, as we have some time, uh, I just wanted to also make some comments. Uh, there was a very nice question of Valeria Alexandrovich about what uh, really uh, surprised you in the results. And now when I looked at the results, I was surprised really that uh, in the core group, one of the topics which is important is the uh, discussion of the community format. The discussion of the community format. And this is really, uh, I mean, as we observed this group for quite some time, and uh, we look uh, that uh, these are the people who are always thinking about uh, themselves. And um, um, I think this is really shows that uh, these results are uh, valid. I mean, this, the, the, the results got it. So they do um, discuss this community format uh, quite quite uh, a lot of times so this is for me it's it's really like okay you got it <laughs> so i really like your results so Arina, go on <laughs> thank you very much thank you and this is um i i would say yes it's actually quite impressive um because i don't think i've ever seen this as a complete work so so i'm presenting the uh, the results of the research uh, which uh, we uh, are working on with Vladimir Batagel. Uh, so now uh, the presentation, it is called Text Metrics, Common Basis of Scientometrics, Bibliometrics, Infometrics, and Related Research Traditions. However, I should say that when we applied uh, to the conference, uh, it was a little bit different. And now uh, we already completed the paper and uh, we also even understood that we should uh, name this um, field a little bit differently. So I will tell about it. Uh, there are uh, different research traditions uh, which are specialized in the analysis of structure and properties of information and communication. So there are different metrics, as uh, you know them, like scientometric, uh, scientometrics, bibliometrics, infometrics, librometrics, cybermetrics, webometrics, and altmetrics. And they all are focused on uh, different, uh, they have their own focuses, like in scientific documents or in some uh, social group of scientists or in social media and so on. And uh, the, co the coexistence of these different research traditions and also the uh, interdisciplinary character of the research and uh, the short period of the development of this um, disciplines of this field, uh, makes it to be called by some researchers a discipline with many names. So there are different names uh, which, uh, by which you can actually call uh, quite the same things. And uh, that's why at first when we started uh, this uh, topic uh, with Lado, we were calling them X metrics. But then uh, we found the term uh, I metrics, uh, which was used by uh, some researchers for four metrics in information science, uh, biblio, sciento, info, and webo. So we decided that there is no need to create another like um, umbrella term. And we decided to use I metrics as the you know, name for this whole, whole field. And uh, our research question, um, um, our research questions are to identify the main trends in the field development and its evolution through time and also to represent uh, the field core. So to look at the most important works and topics and scientific ideas and look how they're connected to each other. Uh, look at the most prominent scientists and journals. As uh, our colleagues already told, uh, so thank you. <laughs> I don't have to uh, tell it again, uh, just briefly. So we collected the data from Web of Science 
uh, core collection because we are interested in uh, the citations and only in core collection uh, we have these uh, fields in the description of the works. And uh, we used the following search query. Uh, of course, we tried a lot of different queries and uh, finally we found some which was, uh, which didn't give us uh, a lot of information, but uh, it, it gave us exactly uh, that number that was uh, um, kind of manageable. So we used a uh, query for Biblio, Biblio, Sciento, Eid, Cyber, Webo, Libra, Infor, Metrics. And also we included some uh, qu qu queries which uh, uh, represent some um, uh, areas of the studies. Uh, in these fields, uh, like Hirsch Index and also co-authorship network, co-citation network, bibliographic coupling, and also some uh, very well uh, known uh, laws, uh, mathematical laws in uh, this field, Zip, Bradford, and Lotka. Uh, so, uh, again, uh, just the, the image how this Web of Science record looks like. And uh, once again, we are interested in uh, this uh, citation CR field uh, to get the information for our citation network. Uh, so, as we already discussed, again, here the works can be split into two groups, and one group uh, is uh, hits, and uh, these are the works with complete description. Uh, these are the works which, which have this kind of description. And other works are terminals. They are cited on the works, and they do not have a description uh, like this, but the they, they whole description that they have is this one, like in one line in CR field. And uh, um, as we understand that some of the works can be very important, can be cited a lot, but uh, they do not have the full description. That's why we also searched for some additional works uh, that had at least uh, 50 citations. And finally, we got the whole data set. And uh, uh, the data was collected in July 2019, actually as a result of our summer school on bibliographic network analysis that uh, we conducted in the lab. So uh, using the program was to we uh, collected, uh, we obtained the following networks. Again, these are the networks of citations, also the networks of works and authors, works and journals, works and keywords, uh, and also some uh, partitions of years so that we know uh, when each work was published, and also the partition which, show, which shows uh, to which group uh, belong uh, each work. So is it uh, the work with complete description or it is only cited work? Uh, so, uh, uh, as, we, as we've seen, uh, in this um, uh, CR field, the uh, name of the work has the following format. Uh, but uh, as we also can expect that different, uh, the same work can be written a little bit differently. That's why uh, this program was to pack support uh, so-called short names, and they are done uh, by some uh, rule. And uh, so it is written here, and uh, you can see that uh, this uh, work uh, would be uh, written in the following format. So it is also important uh, that now you know how this, uh, named, uh, these names appeared on the uh, graphs that we already showed. Uh, so then uh, from this uh, hits that we uh, collected, we, ob we obtained basic networks, uh, and also, uh, as for terminal works on the partial information is provided, for example, on the first author and um, uh, yeah, on the first, first author and journal, and uh, we do not have uh, uh, much information, uh, any other information. So uh, we constructed also reduced networks, which contain only works with complete description. So these works are shown here. Uh, I mean, this this are uh, marked with R, so they they are shown on the second lines on each cell, and we use these uh, networks uh, to get some insights about the field development. Uh, so here uh, we can look at the main journals in the field, and uh, on the left we can see the journals in all publications. So this is this uh, basic VJ network. 
uh, which has all the works that we have, including cited on the works. And on the right, we have uh, journals which are used only in hits, only in those um, 20, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> only on those, uh, at those uh, 23,000 of works that we have. Uh, and you see that in both cases, the most uh, used journal is Scientometrics. Uh, but if uh, we compare these uh, uh, columns, we see that there are some different, there can be seen some difference. So uh, for journals in all publications, we see a lot of journals from, uh, from uh, a lot of uh, general scientific journals and also journals from medicine. And uh, um, of course, there are some journals which relate to the topic of this uh, eye metrics. Uh, they are marked in bold, and I hope you see this. But if you look at the right side, uh, there are much more journals which are uh, marked in bold, and there are, it means that there are more journals in eye metrics. And uh, among these uh, general scientific journal, journals, we can see only plus one. And also there are some journals from physics, like Physica A, A or uh, from computer science, uh, which actually shows the interest from uh, this uh, uh, fields to collaboration network, from uh, network science, uh, to collaboration networks and uh, citation networks. And also these data sets are used uh, for like uh, modeling some, uh, for making some analysis in that field. Uh, now uh, you can see main keywords and uh, we can see that the most used word is bibliometric. So talking about these different, uh, different kinds of um, uh, uh, keywords which are used, different uh, terms. So bibliometric is the top and then with some um, large margin we can see also scientometric. And in this top 50 words we do not see any other I metrics terms, I mean, uh, uh, names of uh, metrics. However, uh, there are some other uh, keywords which uh, determine uh, the, uh, uh, which represent I metrics field, like they're all also marked in bold, also citation, impact, scientometric, Bradford, distribution, collaboration, H, which is Hirsch index, and so on. Also, we marked in uh, blue some uh, words which can be, uh, uh, which relate to the special topics which are uh, presented in the field, like science, scientific journal, publication, index, performance, and so on. And also, of course, we see some uh, words which are marked in uh, gray, and we call them uh, general, gen general words with limited value because actually we can find uh, these words uh, in any field, uh, any scientific field, if you look inside. Uh, then uh, let's look at the number of authors. And here we can see the distribution of, uh, num of the papers with one, two, three, four, five, and so on papers, uh, uh, authors, sorry, in time from 1980 to 2010 and to, to the current stage. And what is interesting is that we see that the amount of um, uh, papers published by uh, one author uh, uh, is decreasing through time. So from 50% to almost 10% uh, currently. Also, we can see that from 30% uh, uh, of papers written by two, by two uh, authors, now we have about 20%. And then, uh, the number of papers with three and more authors is um, increasing through time. Uh, now uh, we show the we show the table of uh, authors, most uh, who has uh, uh, the largest number of works, and also uh, according to the network of. Um, uh, uh, According to the normalized collaboration network analysis, we can also look at the total contribution of the author and also their collaborative ind collaborativeness index. index. So that um, we can see that uh, uh, some authors who have uh, a lot of works 
they can have different contribution to the field because uh, uh, um, they write, uh, some of them write papers in collaboration with others while others not. So that's why the index of collaboration will be different. But we can see that there are quite some authors who has quite high um, index of collaborativeness, uh, more than 50%. And uh, so we can, but at the same time, we can see that some of the authors still have quite a low index of collaborativeness. And so we can say that uh, the authors in the field, they prefer different strategies. Of collaboration and uh, looking at these names uh, we can actually see that they are very well known i mean the people who are very much involved into the field uh, they uh, of course would find a lot of people who whom, whose papers they would read in these topics so now let's look at the uh, distribution of works uh, by years uh, and uh, uh, these are the hits and we can see that uh, till 2013, it fits to the exponential model. And uh, actually, as we counted, uh, the field, uh, the number of works in the field doubles every eight years. So it is growing quite significantly. And then, uh, then uh, uh, using the citation network, uh, we looked at the most cited works. Um, and uh, you can see that the first work is uh, written by Hirsch, so Hirsch Index, which is very well known. And um, also what is, so it, it is very nice that we have these presentations, so you can uh, really look uh, inside uh, while I'm discussing something. So you can see the, the titles and uh, the names of the authors who are pretty well known, who are, let's say, classical, and uh, also, uh, if you look at the year of uh, when the work was published, we can also see that there are a lot of works which are published before 2000. So these are kind of classical works uh, of mathematicians and also of the representatives of sociology of science who uh, are really, whose, work, whose works are really used as a kind of background in the field. So this is uh, the second part of this table. And I will also upload the presentation later so that you can uh, look at it more precisely. And uh, then uh, we did, uh, again, uh, the analysis of citation network. Uh, we, again, uh, made it uh, bounded. Uh, so we removed all the nodes uh, which were cited only, which had in degree smaller than four. And uh, uh, then we also used uh, uh, the algorithm, which is called preprint transformation, uh, which helps us to deal with the cycles inside this network. Uh, so then we used the search pass count algorithm, uh, which determines for each arc the weight, which is equal to the probability that a random pass through the network passes through this arc. So each, uh, uh, each um, arc, uh, get some weight. So, and according to these uh, weights, we count the main pass, uh, main uh, main pass, K roads, and main island in, in this network. And so, these are the results, uh, the results of uh, the analysis. And I will zoom it a little bit. Sorry, it takes some time. So, let's look. So, this would be. Uh, the graphs of this would be main pass and k roads. So basically, uh, k roads also contain the uh, all the nodes which uh, are included to the uh, main pass. But also, as or it was already said, it has some branches. So we can see how the uh, how the the variations uh, in the passes uh, in years. And uh, as there was a question about the color of the nodes, I will just tell that each color should just show the uh, level uh, in the uh, time, uh, time, uh, uh, <laughs> timeline, I'm sorry, uh, timeline uh, to, to which it belongs. So uh, it's just made for such uh, kind of complicated pictures just to see that they are published at about the same time. But okay, let's go back to this uh, main pass and K roads. 
So if you look, uh, we see that the field is actually uh, the, this, uh, uh, the first works in these graphs are, devo uh, are written by uh, some uh, very well-known mathematicians and uh, these are the works about uh, which describe different mathematical laws and distributions which are later used in the, uh, as a basement uh, in the uh, analysis, uh, in the research done in the field. Uh, then uh, started fro starting from, uh, I'm sorry, and then starting from uh, 2070 to 2090, uh, as uh, uh, when we look at these papers and we look at the titles and we uh, can uh, understand what uh, other topics, we can see that uh, they, they are devoted to uh, citation and co-citation analysis. And uh, then, uh, starting from 90, 90s, we can also see that there are some works which uh, also uh, describe uh, uh, the field itself. So they try to find the name. Uh, of the field, uh, propose different uh, names like bibliometric, infometric, or a little bit later when internet uh, is becoming more widespread, also webometric and altmetrics. And uh, starting from 2000s, we have the works uh, which are devoted to the um, citation impact evaluation. And also Hirsch index is proposed and different um, uh, different uh, variations of this index and also some other indices uh, uh, which uh, are uh, made specially to, to uh, uh, evaluate the research in science. And then uh, also on the way, like on these uh, branches, we can also see some works uh, which are on the topic of collaboration networks and also a little bit of network analysis and uh, databases and databases comparison. So already, as we discussed uh, today, that uh, which base is better, which database uh, of bibliometric uh, data information is better for which kind of analysis, which disciplines and so on and so forth. And uh, if you look at the main island, we can basically uh, see a, uh, a lot of nodes from the previous structures, but also there are some more nodes which are new. And if you look at them more precisely, we can even can get some uh, uh, better understanding of uh, some topics. So here it is uh, uh, all that uh, things that I told I written so that in presentation the people can also look at it. Uh, but uh, talking about this main island, so we can see that, uh, for example, uh, in bibliometric laws, which uh, the, the papers in bibliometric laws, which are published in uh, 70s and 90s, there are some uh, extra uh, laws which are described like price law and Pratt measure, which are not shown in main pass and uh, K roads, but which appear in this island. And also we can see that in uh, starting from mm -hmm. 2000s, there are more works on webometrics and uh, uh, they uh, use websites, deeper links uh, for evaluation of academic research entities and also topic of art metrics usage such as Mendeley, River Counts and Twitter and other social media. And uh, also we can see that in some periods uh, there are the works on the evolution of research field and science mapping so exactly what we are doing in our analysis. And uh, what is interesting is that all these uh, works, which are included into main pass, K roads and main island passes, uh, there are 200 papers, a little bit more, and the majority of them are articles, and most of them are published in just three journals. So one of them is JASIST, another is Journal of Infor Informetrics, and another is Scientometrics. Also, the inputs of journal documentation and journal of information science are relatively large. But if we see at the early years, then uh, we see that the journal of documentation and social studies of science and library trends and general scientific journals were of greater importance. So I'm coming to conclusions. Uh, 
uh, we showed that the field has grown significantly from uh, 1950s and uh, uh, that it doubles every eight years. And uh, there is a trend toward uh, higher collaboration in the field. So we saw that the number of single author uh, papers decrease significantly uh, from 1980s. Uh, and uh, also we looked at, uh, we uh, extracted the most prolific authors who are from uh, scientometrics, bibliometrics, infometrics, and pebometrics. And also we can say that there are three main journals, Scientometrics, Jazzist, and Journal of Informatics. And uh, for the journals uh, which are used by HITS, they take 16% of publications. But uh, if we look at the most important works, at these two, uh, 212 uh, works, then their shares are uh, 80, uh, is, uh, their share is uh, 48%, almost half. Uh, also, talking about the keywords analysis, we see the dominance in usage for the keyword bibliometric, which is uh, followed by scientometric, and we do not see a lot of other iMetrics related terms. And uh, we see that field is grounded on the works of mathematicians um, who describe different distributions alone and laws, which are used as a background. And also, at the early period, a lot of works uh, of uh, uh, social scientists uh, and uh, in the fields of uh, science studies uh, are published and they are also used as a theoretical basement for iMetrics. And if we trace the development from 70s uh, to up to 2000s, we also can see uh, the um, uh, some special topics which were popular in uh, some um, Certain periods of time, periods of times, and we already described them in great detail. So I think I would not uh, repeat it again. And so this is uh, these are the works which we cite in this presentation. And um, I should say that, of course, uh, we uh, we looked at the most important journals, and that's why we decided to send our paper to Scientometrics as the main journal in the field. And uh, we got uh, a lot of uh, interest from them. I mean that a lot of uh, comments from reviewers and now <laughs> uh, me and Lado, we are working at uh, the review and we hope that uh, once soon it, uh, this paper will be published and we will be able to share it. So thank you very much for your attention. If you have some questions, please. <laughs> Um, the one question I have, which is probably more general and probably to everyone who is working in the field of scientific is can we build um, forecasting models or prognosis as to where the science would go based on the past trends? I've had this question for a while now, but I'm just curious if it's at all possible or if this is just backward looking analysis. Mm -hmm. This is a very good question. Uh, I think I, I haven't seen any uh, studies like this, but probably this is something that we should discuss and uh, think how to do it because then we would be kind of pioneers in this uh, field. Well, I think it's very curious. Um, obviously, I think we can all with reasonable accuracy predict that the next couple of years, everybody will be writing about coronavirus. Mm -hmm. But after we're done with coronavirus and maybe the oil and its plunge and the recession and all of those things, how they affected maybe science, um, you know, those are events that happen that, I mean, if you look, when I, I was listening carefully to actually most of the presentations and um, I have not heard anything about the depressive years that have happened or some other things that, um, or some events that have occurred throughout the last 50 years or so that would have somehow been reflected in science. So I think um, as a science, we develop towards some progress regardless of what happens, right? So I would be very curious to see if we can tell where this is going. I mean, it would be just so cool, I think. Uh, because um, it's 
fun to not just explain, but to predict. And I think uh, one of the problems I had with management is that was always a very look, a backwards looking discipline. It had very low, low um, prognostic capacity or um, didn't really give good advice to my real life managers. So it's very explanatory. It's backward looking, it's explaining why things didn't work. Which um, I think Scientometrics has a potential to become much more than that. Because the tools are amazing, the things you're doing are actually very relevant and they're very interesting. So I'm just wondering what it would take to extend it further into the future. Probably we should discuss some ideas of some grants. Uh, can I uh, try to... Uh, yes, Vlado, hello. Yes, yes, sure, sure. So, hi. Uh, uh, let's turn on the video. So, uh, about the uh, um, forecasting, I, I think uh, you can do forecasting on the statistical basis. So, we have these um, uh, different laws that are... Uh, uh, we can observe in, in inside the the data, and yes. uh, from these uh, laws, you you can make extrapolations. For instance, that uh, the number of papers will grow in the same way, and so on. So uh, this is one possibility. So that you are using the uh, on the data, you you determine the uh, the the concrete. Uh, uh, distribution and uh, on the basis of this distribution you can uh, let us say forecast that for instance next year there will be so many papers and so on uh, the number of authors will grow in this way and this way so this is uh, uh, one thing um, but this is relatively obvious uh, uh, the other thing uh, uh, there is one observation about the development of, uh, of fields. And uh, usually this can be observed if you are looking to this uh, key root uh, 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 networks that you, you obtain. And uh, 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 in many cases, these key root uh, networks have a kind of... Uh, a pulsating uh, a structure, so you 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 have uh, nodes uh, where everything uh, converge, and then after the convergence, uh, uh, it seems that in this con convergence point, uh, uh, we, the the problem on uh, 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 in the field concentrated on a certain topic. And then uh, a very uh, some new, crucial new idea has to uh, to appear, and after that idea we have again uh, a fork out, uh, so uh, too many different results, and then we have a, a, a network that is uh, how to say divergent, but that then it again converge to some to some let us say, uh, uh, point where again we get some new result. So essentially the network, if you look through time, it's pulsating. Okay. Uh, and uh, I think this could be uh, also used for forecasting. Uh, at least you can see where we are now. Whether we are in the, let us say, concentration or uh, concentration point, or we are just in the for, uh, this forking uh, uh, phase, or we are in the phase of converging, and we are searching for some 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 new idea which will uh, which will uh, um, start uh, start a new development. But what what are the uh, the basic uh, uh, what are the basic uh, uh, questions? I think it probably it could be, uh, but we didn't do that uh, yet. Uh, I think the kind of um, keyword analysis would uh, can provide us with some indication what is uh, currently the most important and where essentially the 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 field is uh, uh, is going on. Uh, so 
essentially what we need to do, we need to uh, identify the most important works, look to the uh, keywords describing that, uh, 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 that works, and uh, look also to the changes in the keywords. But uh, I have no idea how to use this information to, let us say, to forecast something. Okay, okay. Well, it's, it's just like I said, it's been a question that bugged me for a while. And now that we are doing a lot of centimetric uh, work in our lab, it's becoming the next, um, well, to me. It's, it's a very problem. important question, but how to say it's, it's quite a, how to say, I, I think, it's, I, I don't believe that uh, essentially we can, uh, 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 how to say, uh, predict uh, the results because right. usually okay. you are searching for some very interesting uh, new idea and uh, uh, but uh, essentially you, you maybe you can identify what are in some sense the the the, the uh, essential question